Hey friends, we're gonna jump right into verse 137. It starts like this. You are righteous, Lord, and your laws are right. The statutes you have laid down are righteous. They are fully trustworthy. My zeal wears me out, for my enemies ignore your words. Your promises have been thoroughly tested, and your servant loves them. Though I am lowly and despised, I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is everlasting, and your law is true. Trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. Your statutes are always righteous. Give me understanding that I may live. Hey, and I just wanted to unpack that a little bit more with you guys. And um, for me, one of the things that uh, just really stands out is how it's just going back to God's law being truth. And if God's law is truth, it should be our final authority. It should be the final say-so in our lives. This, this passage even says that it has been tested and it is trustworthy. So what that means for us is that God's law is just perfect. No matter what we're facing, no matter what we're going through, no matter how good, no matter how bad, God's word is the final authority. It is perfect and it is true. And I want to just kind of zoom in here a little bit on verse 137. And it, said, it goes on to say that trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. And just with that being said, you know, even when uh, it may feel like our world is collapsing in on us, it may feel that everything is crumbling in on us, that we need to know what God's word says. And we need to go and seek out what it says about whatever it is that we're facing, and we need to delight in it. So whether it's uh, tough times, whether it's hardships, whether it's obstacles, whatever it is that's in front of you that you are facing, we want you guys to know Go to God's word, delight in his promises, delight in his law, and watch how God just moves mightily in your life. And I just kind of want to end with just a little encouragement, just a little thing that I, that I even thought about as I was reading, and I want to share with you guys, is just when difficult times come your way, is it God's word that has the, the final authority in your life when those hardships come? Or are you allowing those hardships to have the final say-so in your life? We love you, Cottonwood. I hope you were able to get something from this today. We love you.